Welcome to History Medieval, where we delve into the rich and often tumultuous tapestry of medieval history. In today's episode, we explore a pivotal moment in European history, the Siege of Paris in 845 AD. The Carolingian Empire, under the rule of Charles the Bald, is facing one of its greatest challenges. From the north come ships bearing the fearsome Norsemen, a force unlike any the Frankish lands have seen. Leading him is a figure destined to be legendary. Regenheris, or as he's better known, Ragnar. In the early spring, the Viking fleet, numbering over 120 ships and thousands of warriors, ascends the Seine River. Their strategy is not just plunder but a show of force against the fractured Frankish defences. The target of their ambition is Paris, a symbol of Frankish power and prestige. On the other side, Charles the Bald, grandson of Charlemagne, musters his forces. However, the Frankish army, though determined, lacks the strategic prowess and experience of the Viking raiders. This encounter at Paris is not merely a battle, it's a clash of civilizations, marking a pivotal chapter in the Viking expansion across Europe. On Easter Sunday, the 29th of March, a pivotal scene unfolded in the Siege of Paris. The Viking forces, under the command of Regenheris, launched a full-scale assault on the city. Their arrival was not just a show of force but a strategic exploitation of the Frankish vulnerabilities. The Vikings, known for their ferocity and tactical prowess, easily penetrated Paris defences. The Frankish resistance, fragmented and underprepared, crumbled under the Viking onslaught. The Norsemen rampaged through the city, pillaging and causing widespread destruction. The chaos that ensued was not just a physical conquest but also a psychological blow to the Frankish people, shaking the very foundations of their sense of security. Amidst the siege, a plague outbreak ravaged the Viking camp, threatening to halt their advance. Influenced by the teachings of a Christian prisoner, the Norse warriors turned to both their gods and new rituals. Miraculously, the plague subsided, a development that the Vikings interpreted as a sign of favor from their gods. This phase of the siege demonstrated the Vikings' adaptability and resilience. Ultimately, Charles the Bald chose a path that would define this moment in history, the payment of a ransom, a significant sum meant to dissuade the Vikings from further destruction. The decision to pay the Danegeld was not taken lightly. It was a strategic move born out of necessity, reflecting the complex dynamics of warfare, diplomacy, and survival in medieval Europe. This moment, where a great city bent under the pressure of a formidable foreign power, was a turning point, signaling the emergence of new powers and the shifting tides of influence in the medieval world. Thank you for joining us on this historical exploration of the Siege of Paris. If you enjoyed this journey through the annals of medieval history, don't forget to subscribe to History Medieval for more fascinating stories and insights. Like this video, join our growing community of history enthusiasts, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us bring more of history's untold tales to life. Until next time, keep exploring the depths of our past.